One of the other issues people have been talking about a lot this election is the Clinton Foundation and whether big donors received favors from Hillary Clinton when she was Secretary of State. But whatever you think about the Clinton Foundation, it has done real charity work. Earthquake relief in Haiti, expanded access to HIV drugs in Africa, and one assumes working on a cure for secret pneumonia. <laughs> but now, Donald, somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. But now, Donald Trump is under fire for his charity, the Trump Foundation, because you got to love a charity that's solid gold. Because <laughs> the Trump Foundation gave an illegal donation to Florida Attorney General and Rush Chairman, who doesn't believe you're the theta material, Pam Bondi. <laughs> when she was considering investigating fraud at Trump University. And yesterday, we learned that New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman is investigating Trump's foundation. We don't know much about the Trump Foundation. All we know is that nearly all of the foundation's money comes from people other than Donald Trump. <laughs> and Trump is truly generous with other people's money. For instance, in 2010, Trump got a trophy from the Palm Beach Police Foundation for his, quote, selfless support of its cause. And that's unusual because Trump usually marries his trophies. <laughs> and. Again, beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this selfless gift truly had no self in it because the $150,000 he gave to the Palm Beach police came directly from a New Jersey charity who gave the money to Trump's foundation. That $150,000 could not be more of a re-gift if it was an iTunes gift card. <laughs> Best of all, in the Trump charitable spirit, Trump may have actually made money that night because the gala was held at his Mar-a-Lago resort and the police foundation paid to rent the room. <laughs> that is, that is the soul of charity. You scratch my back, I rent you a back scratcher. <laughs> but one of the foundation's biggest causes seems to be fun things to put in Donald Trump's office. Because in charity auctions, it has spent $12,000 on a football helmet autographed by Tim Tebow and a $20,000 six-foot-tall painting of Donald Trump. <laughs> and I believe we have, a, we have a picture of the painting. Do we have that, Jimmy? There you go. There you go. Yes. That, is, that of course, is actually Vigo the Carpathian from Ghostbusters 2. But I got to say, the first time I saw it this afternoon, I didn't know we had made it up. It really looks like something he would buy. <laughs> and with all his good work, it's no surprise that the Trump Foundation has a staff of four Trumps, Donald, Ivanka, Eric, and Donald Jr., who work a grueling half hour a week. <laughs> and that, of course, includes two 15-minute breaks. <laughs> but despite, you gotta have them, you gotta rest. You gotta rest. But despite all this controversy, the Trump Foundation is continuing with charitable outreach with this new ad that we somehow have exclusively acquired. Every week, children like these are forced to work for dozens and dozens of minutes on a heartbreaking task, trying to make Donald Trump look generous. That's why the Trump Foundation needs your help. For just the price of a cup of coffee inside a new Lexus, you can help Donald Trump buy so many things, like some solid gold desktop clacky balls, a diamond trophy that says most charitable, and a tiger signed by Peyton Manning. The Trump Foundation. Orange, you glad you helped out. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. We'll be right back with star of Blackish, Tracy Ellis Ross.